ever wanted to have that wireless guitar system na stable ang connection, walang latency, at syempre swak sa budget. Hopefully, ito na solusyon. Let's unbox and do a quick test of the WS50 wireless guitar system. Hi guys, Mark Abbott here and welcome to my space. Actually, my wife's space. Gaya ng sabi ko dun sa previous video, this is her kitchen studio and uh, she was really kind enough to allow me to use this space uh, to make videos like this. For this video, we are going to unbox and do a quick test of this guitar wireless system called the Swift Audio WS50. But before we do that, let's talk about uh, wireless guitar systems. Wireless guitar systems has always been a point of envy for you know a lot of musicians, especially guitar players and bass players, and nowadays also keyboard players. When the wireless system came out in the early days, uh, it was carried by major companies like Boss, Line 6, and then some of the microphone companies that were already doing wireless transmission also ventured into wireless guitar or bass systems. But now we are in the year 2022 and there are a lot of other third-party companies that started to make really affordable wireless guitar systems. Question though, why do you want to go wireless? There are actually a lot of reasons why you want to go wireless. Number one, it's really convenient in a live setting, especially if you're the type of guitar or bass player that moves around the stage a lot. This will avoid accidents and uh, this will kind of make you worry-free when, especially when you do that guitar spin thing. Number two is at home or in the studio. If you don't want some clutter and you don't want to do any uh, cable management, a wireless system is also a practical thing as well. The problem with using a wireless system both in a live setting or in the studio is the interference. Since these systems use radio signals, this might pick up some Wi-Fi signals, cell phone signals, and sometimes other radio signals that can potentially disrupt the sound of your guitar, bass, or keyboard. Wireless guitar or bass systems of major audio companies, somewhat it costs a fortune. And they do have the right to charge that much because of the quality that was put into making those products. For example, a wireless system from Line 6, you can be so sure that almost 100% that you won't get any latencies, you won't get any other signals feeding into your amp. So these types of wireless systems are actually perfect for a touring musician who plays gigs, if not every week, almost every day. But what about those bedroom musicians, uh, what of those hobbyists that just really want to have that reliable wireless system with no latency and a really stable connection and of course, bang for buck. You might have seen these wireless systems. I wish I could tell you what the brand is but it actually doesn't have any brand. These are only 500 pesos in Lazada. Now at first, I thought that uh, I hit the jackpot because it was just 500 pesos until I tested it. I plugged in the transmitter and I needed to be at least one meter from the receiver. If I go beyond one meter, then just like a weak signal on a phone call, the sound will get choppy. So what's a good solution? Most guitar wireless systems from major brands costs about 10,000 pesos and up. Until I saw a video of my good friend, the basis of Soap Dish, Melvin Feliciano, test out this wireless system. I was really impressed kung gaano kalayo ang narating niya, pero yung signal that's feeding the receiver was stable, was clear, and according to him, it had no latencies. So syempre, napabili din ako, and this is the Swift Audio 5S 50, at binili ko siya sa Shopee, and it costs around 2,400 80 pesos. So without further ado, let's unbox this and let's do a quick test kung gaano kalayong narating neto. Ito na, ang uh, Swift Audio WS50 Blackwing Digital Wireless System. So again, pwede to sa bass, pwede sa guitar. And if uh, your keyboard has uh, a PL output, pwede rin to. First impression, dun sa picture na nakalagay sa harap, it looks like a sleek design, very discreet siya. Uh, it's black para hindi masyadong kita. 
pagka nakakabit na siya sa either guitar mo or bass mo. So it says here it has a 30 to 50 meter long transmission range. Mamaya ito testing natin yan. It says here strong through wall and anti-interference capability. Yung ibang mga reviews, yung mga in-depth reviews na nakita ko sa YouTube, naka-on yung mga Wi-Fi nila yung mga cellphone for some reason walang na nag interfere dun sa signal. Uh, it supports multiple equipment simultaneously without interfering with each other. Ang ibig sabihin nito is that uh, you can get two, three, or four units of this specific model and it won't interfere with each other. Kasi uh, I also saw in videos na pwede mong palitan yung channel nito. So it has a built-in USB rechargeable lithium battery, sustainable use for 4.5 to 5.5 hours. Okay. The instructions. Ah, okay. So, may mga diagram dito. Mga suggested signal chains. You have the unit itself. Transmitter and receiver. Initial impressions on this one? Well, it is a fingerprint magnet. Oh, okay. So, you can actually turn this thing. It really depends on the model of your guitar. Uh, if you have a Strat model or a Tele model. Okay, let's put this aside first. Let's check if there's anything under here. So you have a micro USB charger na merong splitter sa gitna to charge both units simultaneously. Okay, so testing na natin. This is the uh, high watt crunch 50. Obviously, it's a 50 watt uh, guitar amp and uh, definitely packs a lot of punch. So we'll be putting this uh, receiver to the amp and then the transmitter to the guitar. So let's do that. Yung on switch niya pala nasa likod on both units. It's a circular button that lights up green to tell you that it's turned on. Voila! And I am wireless. Let's check the clean channel first. So far, wala akong nararamdaman na latency in terms of the response time of how I pluck my guitar versus uh, the output that I'm hearing. Real time siya, to my ears, ha? Huh? Let's try the dirt channel. You have to excuse my guitar playing. I'm not an expert guitar player, okay? So ngayon, we'll just keep this amp here and lalabas tayo sa room na to. Titesting natin kung gaano kalayo and if it handles obstacles really well. Okay, so we're now outdoors. Titesting natin kung gaano kalayo. So first, guitar sound check. See ya! Pretty good. So guess I was able to check the audio from uh, the video I shot earlier. Overall, the audio was good. And again, this is coming from a closed room. Ah. So yung amplifier nasa loob ng room, nakasarado yung pinto. And I was outside shooting the distance test. So medyo naging latent lang siya, medyo naging choppy siya ng sobrang slight nung pag-ikot ko around the building. But then again, I was also playing sloppy. So 
which is which. Pakinggan nyo na lang. So, initial thoughts on the Swift Audio WS50. Overall, this is a really good buy. In my case, and I think for most people as well who do gigs here in the Philippines, especially pag nagigig kayo sa bar, hindi naman kayo tatakbo around the bar. And most bands and performers here doesn't perform in big arenas. And uh, I think itong Swift Audio na to is a very good solution um, if you want to have uh, a stable connection, no latency, and of course, budget-friendly. Based on my test earlier, I highly recommend this. I'll be posting some uh, practical usage with my band when we play live soon. Hopefully, this won't fail me. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, again, I am just starting out. I'm just gaining my confidence to talk in front of the camera. Hopefully, I can create more content like this. If you want something to be reviewed or to be checked out, you can comment down below. And please, please, if you can, subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Mark, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Oh,